Hi everyone, how's it going? I'm DK. I'm Rizzo. And I'm Zero. And this, this is, is Otaku, Otaku Saga, Saga Talks. Talks. Where we talk. In stereo. <laughs> About this year in review. Yes. Our first year. Otaku Indeed. Saga year one. Indeed. So, um, yeah, there's a couple of reasons why we wanted to do this talk now. First of all, this is the last Otaku Saga Talks for 2016. Yep. Next, next week's week. episode will be in 2017. So, hey, yep. uh, I guess next time we'll see you next year, huh? <laughs> but, there. other than that, our very first video that we posted on our first channel was posted on January 4th. So we are actually coming up on our one year anniversary of being on YouTube. And also we do have something special planned for that. But interestingly we'll enough, all those videos that came out on June 4th, you can't July. see. Or damn Jan it, January. The Fuck. other other J month. The <laughs> you fucked me up! One year later, we're still here. <sighs> How? <laughs> oh my god. Interestingly, yeah, that those first videos are have currently been taken down. Well, the, the channel that they were on were were, uh, were taken down. I mean, and put this in perspective, Otaku Saga, Otaku Saga's channels encompass ten different channels. Technically, yeah. Technically, uh, um, because we have. This channel, you are watching this on right now. Um, our original channel, which has been uh, shut down due to copyrights. That's the reason we took those videos down, so that we could preserve the channel. Yep. A gaming channel, which doesn't have much content on it. Right now it only has two videos, but we're working on it. And a number of smaller channels to put all of our reactions on. That way, and if they get copyright strikes, then it's not going to affect our main channel. Which, so far, is a plan that has worked to perfection. Yep. Unfortunately, we did not have the foresight to do that in the first place. Yeah, so a lot of people saw us doing the timer and decided that we weren't worth watching anymore. Which sucks. But, mm. well, yeah, so uh, let's go ahead and talk about the, the, the original phase. So, in the original channel, which I don't remember what day it got taken down, but it was about... Actually, was I in, think it was, it was, it was in early... February. It was in, uh, no, I think it was a little later than that. I thought it was like in April. No, it wasn't that late. It wasn't that late. Because it was still during winter season. So, it would have been probably February because it was about halfway through. Hmm. So, but it got taken down somewhere in February. What happened in April then, huh? And, um, to be honest, like, to be completely honest, when your channel gets taken down due to copyrights, that's really hard. Like, that almost killed us. Like, that almost stopped us from posting. Like, ever again. Yeah, it sucked. I, I remember that, so, when we first started out, we were going, like, flat out, which is a pace that I'd love to be able to get to again, but I don't, I don't feel that we're going to be able to do that just based off of real life stuff. If only because, I mean, as we get older, it would be impossible to sustain that pace. It was it was frantic, but it was awesome. Yeah. It was, I, I think I called it before, uh, I called it this before and earlier uh, in discussions we've had, but uh, it was really a honeymoon phase with YouTube because it was, everything was going swimmingly. Everything was going perfectly. Um, our subscriber count was going up, like, really, really fast. Um... We had, you know, we had videos that were that were topping ten thousand views on the regular. Yeah, well, it, it, hey, when you got uh, awesome series like Konosuba, yeah, and uh, Bokudaki Konosuba, Guy Naimachi. yeah, Bokudaki Guy Naimachi, our One Punch Man One episodes Punch Man. were were getting a lot, but, um, but yeah, that that whole phase was. Well, I would say this whole year, if I had to pick a theme for this year, it would be a learning process. 
Definitely. Because in the in the first in the first part before our first channel got taken down, we were definitely in the honeymoon phase. We were putting out way more stuff than we actually had time for. Um and somehow doing it, and I'm still not sure to this day how we did. Because <laughs> we've been a we've lot been, of caffeine and uh, lo- less, very, know, very very little sleep. sleep. We've been desperately attempting to recreate those schedules again. Speak for yourselves. I'm like, I mean, in hindsight, I, I'm like, what the hell was I thinking? It we've been desperately production. trying to recreate that schedule again, fellow viewers. <laughs> but it is really difficult. It, it is. is really difficult. Um, sleep is necessary. A but necessary evil. In the in the year that we have worked on Otago Saga, we have made upwards of nine hundred videos. Yeah. Across ninety two playlists on this channel. Yeah, on this channel. And an extra about 20 playlists on the other channel. Which has since been deleted. That's a lot of videos. Yeah, tons and tons of videos. But, um... Oh, yeah. Yeah, just, um... Yeah, that, that copyright strike business just... I mean, it really hurt. And then I feel that we made a mistake when we decided to go with the timer afterwards. Because we took a short break. I remember we took like about a week off after the copyright strike came down. Yeah. And Trying to do damage control. Trying to do damage control. And we decided that the best way forward would be to do a timer since we couldn't put the anime in the videos. And that, that idea has always stuck. That we want Otaku Saga to be... Um, watching anime with friends. Yeah. Always. Yeah, like, um, it is obviously framed as a reaction show, but honestly, we do want it to feel as though you are sitting down with, you know, three of your close friends. Okay, friends. Acquaintances. Acquaintances. Idiots on the internet. Idiots on the internet. And you are watching anime with us. Because it's not like we, we, we've we seen other reactors who are very analytical. And very good, too. Holy shit. Yeah. They they pick out every little detail. Yeah. I mean, I see I see some of these guys and, well, yeah, I'm, you know, normally I'm kind of the resident idiot here, but I just feel just plain stupid watching some of these other guys. I'm like, how the hell did I miss that? Honestly. It just went like straight over my head. And you know, they, they catch it all. It but, is amazing. Well, I, I think that we could do that if we wanted to, but only if we were doing like only if we were doing like one or two series a season. I, I don't think I, I don't think I could. I mean, I just don't have that uh, mindset of trying to you know uh, decompose a story while I'm trying to enjoy it. <laughs> That's the thing. We're actually enjoying it. Yeah. We've enjoyed almost everything that we've watched. Almost. Almost. <laughs> uh, there, there were some series, even from the very beginning. Um, Subject the Moon High No Bahamut comes to mind. No, Hot Spoiler Monster. Insta Drop. Insta Drop. The yeah, only one. Verge. Hot Monster, Monster is the only one that we have not been able to react to a full episode of. No, what was it? We got like, what, two thirds of the, the episode done and we were just like, no, fuck this. No, we we made it, we made it about 13 minutes in. Yeah. So, so barely half the episode. Yeah. But for the most part, we do love what we watch. Um, Probably wouldn't watch it otherwise. Yeah. yeah exactly. Actually, uh, that's always been like one of our, uh, I guess the defining factors when it comes to an anime we choose to react to uh, outside of uh, request line titles is that it has to genuinely interest us in some way. Whether it's by, you know, what genre it's billed as or if the synopsis sounds good or normally if uh, when y'all read the uh, source material, I'm like, hey, you know, this seems interesting and then we talk it over and uh, we agree. I actually had, we had a discussion on Twitch with some of the people in chat 
about why we haven't watched Yuri on Ice. Mm. So, I'm not sure exactly what it's tagged as, but it already has Yuri in the in the name. Well, that's the character's name. Yeah. For her, it's a yeah, Russian name, and it's about figure skating. Okay. So. Cool. It's about male uh, figure skating. Yeah. Eh. That, I mean, just saying that, it's about male figure skating already doesn't interest me that much. Yeah. But, None of us are in, into figure skating. Yeah. So so when it so when it comes down to you know, when we're looking at series to react to, that is what comes down to what it comes down to a lot. It's you know, am I at least somewhat interested in this? If they made an anime about bobsledding or curling, that would be a different story, though. That'd be hilarious. That'd be. <laughs> Can you imagine an anime? You just submit it to the internet to the internet that you like curling. Have you seen some of the female curlers, my friend? And also the ma- the male Norwegian team and their pants are awesome. Google it; you'll see what I mean. I know curling from Digimon World. From Digimon World. Wow, that's how <laughs> I know curling. Anyway, I think we're yeah, I think we're getting a little off topic here, but <laughs> uh, there there has been things where like I want to continue, but it's very hard to get everybody else to continue. Hmm. Like it, it also has to be a consensus. You know, at least two of us have to enjoy it. That's a majority, not a consensus. Whatever. But I mean details. We gave we gave like Sace and Cerberus a try, and uh, and Dry we gave that a try. We gave a lot of anime a try, and they kind of just peeled away. Yeah. Like hopefully, hopefully in the in the next year we can actually start doing a review show, where one of us just comes up and. This this anime, you know, all this happened and stuff like that. And here's here's this anime in review. Yeah, um, I think we should talk about what we're expecting for the next year a little bit later. In yeah, the podcast. Yeah, we'll get to that. But uh, but yeah. So then after after the copyright strike, and then we finally got this channel going, and we you know we started to get back into it. Um, we did start to fall into the trap of. Oh, let's react to fucking everything. <laughs> and way overworking ourselves. So I think, I want to say spring season, we ended up like trying to do like 38 or 39 uh-huh. reactions. And that just didn't work. And well, unfortunately, I not was... being the smartest people in the world, we decided to give it a go again for summer season. And we, I think we only picked up 32. Oh, is that all? <laughs> and that, that failed miserably. Especially since during those times, our real life schedule, we had so much going on. I mean, okay, we had uh, FanimeCon, and uh, you saw um, episodes of Anime Reaction with our friend Dayton. He came out to visit for FanimeCon, and we tried to get uh, some costumes ready, a Grimgar group cosplay ready for the occasion, on top of trying to keep up with our filming schedule of close to 40 series back in uh back in that's back in late spring or spring yeah. season was about well 40. i think i think that was so well or, no i was getting to we were we were working on it at the end of spring season and then during the beginning of summer season so that but, was yeah, yeah that i think that was a moment when i realized you know hey if we're doing this many it is physically impossible for us to do anything else and also, at the time, we also had far less time a day to film because our work schedules uh, weren't exactly cooperative either. Yeah, that, that's the other thing. Because at the time, um, we I, had... I was working a different shift. So we only had... Um, so I would work in a, you know, a second shift, 4 p.m. to midnight. And then when I'd get off and head home, they would be at work because they'd be working midnight to eight. And then so... Actually, I was working um, I was working a swing shift at the time. Oh, yeah, you were. So, that so made it even... yeah, that, that made it even worse. Basically, it ended up we had like 
like an hour a day or something or two hours if a day that, to yeah, film. Two, two, yeah, two, two and a half hours if we were lucky. So no time for stuff like uh, like a talk to Saga Talks. It's just uh, whatever reactions we could crank out that day. And then again, on top of trying to get ready for Fan of Macon and other uh, events um, kind of in our personal lives. Damn. Yeah. I mean, it was so, <laughs> we were so busy and our schedule so overloaded that the reason we're behind a lot of series is that we're still reeling from that. Yeah. And, uh, I mean, granted, um, progress has been made, I assure you. Progress has been made to kind of catch up so we can enter the new year with a blank slate, but... It's going to be more like we'll enter the second week of the new year with a blank slate. So, lesson learned. If you if you want to follow our, our footsteps, uh, limit... Yeah, uh, learn your limits. Learn your limits and learn them quick. Yeah. And obey them. Ease into it, I think. Yeah, definitely ease into, ease into it. We, we definitely started off at... Start off at full throttle. We started off full throttle, squealing our wheels, literally crashed, but got back in the vehicle and took off like a bat out of hell. And while well, well, stalling and restarting. <laughs> stalling and restarting, and uh, well, now we're, oh, we're kind of pushing across the line, but we'll get, in the, we'll get into the new year. Throttle well, I, I felt that we made great strides during fall season. Uh, the last month hasn't been good because of some personal stuff that's come up. Uh, but it's mostly it hasn't been good as far as editing goes, which is why you're seeing these big dumps of episodes. One of our computers is absolutely crap. It, it'll literally just shut down. No warning whatsoever in the middle of either editing or rendering. My computer is crap. We will remedy that soon. And then, basically, we've we've had two computers crap out entirely. Yeah, yeah well, uh, and then two computers are just crap. And at and yeah. then, so we were finally able to get, um, we we're finally able to get two at least decent ones. And we're in the process of getting the third one very soon. And we also, so, and we also learned how to uh, put more computer resources into editing or into yeah. video rendering. Yeah, that's another thing uh, that I wanted to mention. We've also gone through four set changes. Yeah, our first so, videos were... Yeah, on... when, when we very first started to record, we were recording with a cell phone, first of all. <laughs> no, actually, I think we're... Yeah, no, we were using yeah, we're a cell phone, cell but phone. it was, like, over the Wi-Fi through your computer. <laughs> yeah, using, I think, uh... Yeah, using your cell phone as a webcam. Yeah, signal bounces over Wi-Fi to, to your... to the PC, and... Oh, my God. That was the worst cherry-rigging of a set we've ever attempted. I think the I think a potato might have had higher resolution. I'm not sure. And, and then uh, and then when we first started out, we had uh, we had a we, couch. Well, we were on a couch. Oh man, the couch. And we had a USB microphone from Rock Band hanging. Rock Band hanging yeah. from our ceiling, just out of shot. <laughs> yeah, because I found out how to jerry rig. <laughs> yeah, a Rock Band uh, microphone. Uh, plug it into a PC. And, uh, well, actually, I guess it's not really Jerry Rigging, it's just recognized. In it. fact, our very, very first Otaku Saga Talks, which never got released because it was so bad audio, was, was recorded on that. Was recorded on that, uh, on that, uh, on that, that microphone. It was just hanging out, we just, like, tacked it up to the ceiling. There's still marks. There are still marks, I'm looking right at it. And just <laughs> hung it down, just that, out of shot. That uh, duct tape really took took the crackling out of our oh yeah it has that uh, yeah, our roof has a, <laughs> our ceiling has that uh, pop pop rock yep. shit on it so yeah that was that was fun to try to attack something onto there <laughs> yeah so, well, it would fall on like on us while we were filming it, it, take a picture and we'll put it on it. yeah there we go I'll, I'll take a picture after we're after we're done yeah, okay I'll okay. get a nice close up picture alright <laughs> um oh, wow <laughs> but yeah, so we had that. And we then were, we realized that that was no good. We we looked awful. 
Uh, well, I we, mean, I mean, some well, things never change. Some things, yeah. I mean, come on now. It's still the same subjects. We looked worse than what we could look like. Yeah, because in the sofa, we were like, all right, this sofa <laughs> was the sofa from the Black Lagoon because it always tried to eat us. And if we just slashed right in there, and I mean, yeah, I'm not exactly svelte right now, but back then I looked like fucking Jabba the Hutt. Just like, <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, believe it or not, DK and I have lost weight since then. So. But, but yeah, we, we, since then we've learned angles, mm-hmm. audio quality, mm-hmm. Video. Proper, li- proper lighting, mm-hmm. yeah. and that these all actually matter. <laughs> <laughs> but so we went from that then we decided you know what um our legs look like shit so we should probably sit at a table so that we can hide them yeah so then we actually went... that was a, uh another reason i wanted to bring up um we you know this looks like shit so uh we should you know x you know some sort of variable that's actually why i wear uh Hats a good load of the time <laughs> because you don't like combing your hair. I don't like combing my hair, not really. And also, I have a bald spot the size of like Superior on top of it. Oh, it's not that big. It's, it's not that bad. Like Erie, maybe you're on. All right, perhaps <laughs> mm-hmm. you can see it sometimes. Yeah. The, the Great Salty Lake. There we go. <laughs> <laughs> I am definitely salty. <laughs> but um, yeah, we decided to move into a different room. Mm-hmm. Our, yeah, uh, so so when we just de- yeah sorry go ahead. When, when we decided to move from the couch to the table we decided to leave the table where it was which was in our dining room which the shape of our apartment makes it made that was a stupid move <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's put just it trying out. to think it's like yeah, i'm no, trying to think retarded, how to put it yes Okay, because basically we have the living room, and then the kitchen is connected via the dining room. It's so, basically like a very wide hallway. Yeah, it's not really a dining room, but so we had it set up in there, and those are those were. That's like, we, we had a couple of couch couch videos that we put up on the old channel. But the vast majority of the video of the episodes we did on you know, the that old season. channel, of that, yeah, that first season. Oh, and we were actually filming during winter or during during uh, fall the previous year. But yeah, you know, like uh, reactions like One Punch Man, Bokudake, uh, a lot of those first series were filmed. A lot of in the our ones kitchen. that you will find the timer on, mm. which, by the way, those t- those timer ones, we still have the footage for somewhere. We do on an old hard drive. And one of the things that I want to do when I get my new computer is I want to go back through those videos and I want to actually put the anime on them and actually put like... Like reissue them. Reissue them. Because we still get comments. We got a comment like an hour ago saying, hey, why why isn't the anime in the video? This video honestly shouldn't be on this channel, period. But... Yeah. <laughs> It is something that we want that I want to do. Mm-hmm. Eventually, you know, get to it's uh, another mighty undertaking, but uh, this one's on a little longer timetable, I think. Oh, much longer. Um, but yeah, so we moved into the kitchen. We decided instead of doing the cell phone, uh, the cell phone via the Wi-Fi onto a computer, which looks like absolute dog shit, just to use a cell phone. <laughs> just to use a cell phone. Um, which is goes from dog shit to potato vision. <laughs> Actually, it, was, it wasn't like terrible. Uh, it, was, it wasn't quite potato vision, but a step above it. Um, hmm, what's the potato though? Hamburger vision? <laughs> I don't know. But uh, yeah, we had this. Uh, I remember we had this horrible gold tablecloth. <laughs> horrible, yes, but. Free. <laughs> yes, that's. Uh, I think that's the major, um, the major thing about the, about the b- beginnings of our channel. How that's much can we get away with without spending money? 
We can get away with a pretty pretty good amount. Well, let's put it this way. The the early figurines that we had were just ones that we had already. That we had already. The table we got for free, which is the one that we're still using, and we probably will use for a couple more months until we move. Because yeah. we're not taking this with us when we move. This damn thing is, yeah, it's just far too heavy. I mean, you don't see it on our videos, obviously, but the base, I think you can knock down castle walls with it. Probably. It is big, thick. In, in another split. life, it would be used to breach doorways. Yeah, this thing used to be a battering ram. I'm sure of it now. Um, but yeah, the table was free. The original tablecloth was free. Uh, the wall scrolls were ones that we that we, we just had. had. Um... I think like, still people, are, people, isn't? people actually ask me, you know, why I have this one. This is my, I have, I have two wall scrolls. This one, and one of Cloud Strife. Which one would you guys rather see up there? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> uh, this Trigum one I've owned since high school. So yeah, that's I mean, another thing. I got this that. One, to, oh, yeah. What five, six years old? Oh man, I got this one back in two thousand two. So I don't have wall scrolls nearly that old. I only started buying wall scrolls like maybe 2010, 2011. Because mm. I didn't have anywhere to put them before that. The but cloud one that I have that's over there that you guys probably probably have never seen. Um, that one is... Actually, uh, I think it was uh, one of the background ones on some of the couch footage. Tapes. Actually, you, you want to know what's truly sad, guys? Uh. The, the way that we have those wall scrolls set up over there is still set up for the couch footage. Oh God, you're right. So we have that. <laughs> okay, so we got Cloud. Uh, we have the uh, main characters of Ari Gairu, and then we have the logo of the uh, Scout Brigade from Attack on Titan. Yeah. <laughs> Which at some point will will migrate its way back over here somehow. Well, <laughs> um, Attack on Titan second season is coming out in that would be uh, in uh, spring, so we'll probably put that up. Yeah. But the the Cloud one is actually is too big literally. For this set. It's literally as old as the uh, release for Advent Children. I bought that during the release. Mm, wow. Really dating yours. <laughs> I don't care. Really I just I just collection. put down the year I went to Nondesicon and bought that Walls Girl. Whatever. We date ourselves all the time. Yeah. But yeah, so we we were in the we were in the dining room. Uh, we had. We were filming on your cell phone. Filming we my had, cell phone and we had... So uh, we had this oh. grand idea that we were going to get three lavalier microphones for us. And we went ahead and bought some really cheap lavalier microphones uh, that were set up that you could uh, plug them into a cell phone to record sound. And then we realized mm. as soon as we got them that they were omnidirectional microphones and they would not work for the purpose that we needed them to work. Because them bitches picked up everything. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, man. So it ended up, we decided instead of paying more money for another microphone, which we didn't have at the time, we would use one microphone, tape it to the table right in the middle of us, Put up a little shield so that I couldn't hear the audio from the TV very much. Or from our refrigerator. Which or is, from our refrigerator. Yeah, which is only like well, th four or five feet away from us. Or from and our always coffee going, pot. Yeah, always gurgling and shit. Or from our neighbors. Assholes. All of them. All of them. Um, but yeah, th we did that for a while. And actually, one of the problems that we ran into with that was the fact that um, at the time when we were when we were doing the reactions, we would have the TV on at a very low volume, uh, but that was still enough for the audio to be picked up, and oh. that's part of the reason why we got the copyright struck. And that's the reason why the anime tracks we have have no audio. Period. Period. Dot. Sorry, guys. That'll never change. Yeah, blame that, blame really YouTube, cool. you know. Send them uh, your complaints in the form of letters uh, strapped to bricks. <laughs> um, but so we we did that for a long time. In fact, I think we still we were still doing that by the time we moved. No, actually, before we moved the table into the living room again, 
we switched over to the three lavalier microphones. Which, yeah, we had a well, the older well, soundboard, which has since burnt out. Yeah. Uh, due one to uh, heavy usage, two to uh, do uh, due to hard words, hard words to say in combination, due to our habit of uh, forgetting to turn the damn thing off. It, yeah, it just burnt out after a while. Yeah, and um, that was okay, but we were still having the audio problem. So then we decided that it was too much of a hassle to walk past our table every single time we wanted to go into the kitchen and decided to clear all the stuff out of the corner of the living room and put the set in the corner of the living room, which is a much better location for it. However, stuff still gets in the way. But it's much better than the dining room, that's for sure. There's only so many ways you can set up a studio in a relatively tiny two-bedroom apartment. Um, and then we got the we got the hint that we should probably do a headphone headphones with a headphone splitter. Thank mm-hmm. you. Yes, thank you. I cannot remember who said that. But one of our subscribers was like, hey, uh, you should probably do this. And so we did. And it was... Game changer number one. It was probably the best move, I think. Actually, okay, that was a great move. But the best move is actually was actually like listening to our subscribers, I'd say. Because... It's one of the things that I'm very proud about this channel for is, is the fact that we do listen. We love... We listen and, hear from and you. do yeah, it so, eventually. So at the end of every single episode when we say, you know, please leave your comment in the comment section below because we love hearing from you. No, no, trust me. We, we mean it. Yes, we actually do mean it. Because, again, you know, suggestions like that and, you know, suggestions on, like, what to watch or just a or, lot of the stuff you've given us Hell, over the years it's it's saved our channel on multiple occasions there have been there have been guys who came in and said and was like hey 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 morons your lighting's wrong or hey guys <laughs> your audio sucks mm-hmm. what are you using let me help you yeah i mean just just the sheer amount of support we've gotten uh from our viewership is quite astounding and also a, a big surprise here: not nearly as many trolls as I was expecting. Yeah, uh, when we first started out, so <clears throat> excuse me. Oh, <clears throat> well, while you're doing that, sorry. Yeah, I mean, when I uh, when we first getting into this, I was thinking like, okay, you know, we're going to be fighting off a whole bunch of you know um, 4chan guys coming in saying oh you're just a bunch of weebos yada 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 so we had a couple of those well so when we first started out we were recording during fall season 2015 and one of the reasons why it took us so long to actually post is because is because it was like well if we post then we're probably just gonna have like yeah, 30 comments on each video. Oh, you fucking weeaboos, you mm-hmm. suck. Da, 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 da. And so it took us a while to actually work up the courage to post. And to be honest, I think in the entire time that we've been on YouTube, the whole year, I could probably count the number of, of trolls on two hands. That, two hands? One, one one hand probably one, definitely two hands. It's the very very few troll comments. That's how many. This is how many comments we've had that are trolls. Yeah, literally. So damn. <laughs> um, shocked really. Yeah. That, so yeah, that was, that was really shocking to me, and I am just astounded that that you know our <laughs> our viewers are awesome. <laughs> yeah, just how awesome our viewers are. I mean, yeah, I mean, 3,000 plus subscribers, you know, even more than that have watched, I think, what was the count? We're approaching like 700,000 total channel views, just on the current one, by the by. Yeah, the, the old one had a lot. But I'll say, the old one was, well, I had a shit ton because, well, we had uh, awesome series that were released on time, and, uh, well, and we're getting the, back to that. Having eventually. the anime in the main video really did help on that, that, that too. That did help, yes. Because... I think a lot of it is people are people search for stuff, 
and then they'll see that our re our reaction video is like you know 10 minutes long and go oh well they're not actually reacting they're just talking about what what they watched actually comment section can you confirm or deny that if so do leave a comment about it and yeah. feedback about that i am actually very interested on that i mean yeah what what uh what do you um look for when you're looking for a reaction video to watch you know uh, that could definitely uh that kind of feedback will definitely help us have going forward um but yeah uh, let's see what was what else was i talking about we got rid of the damn tablecloth. Oh, yeah. So we switched to a better color. We got, what was it? Four more, four more figurines. Yeah, uh, we got uh, Sinon. I think we've had more than that, actually. Yeah, we, oh. Because I'm... At least a few. We we're actually looking at a paused video from our very first Otaku Saga Talks that we posted. Uh, and let's see... From them, from then, let's see. Uh, we no longer have Lion Saber. So this one's new. This one's new. That one's new. That one's new. That one's new. That one's new. Um, Bun Asuna. No. Oh no, that's she's right there. All right. Uh, but yeah, we we actually have gone through quite a few figurines. Three, actually, looking four. at that, I'm inspired. <laughs> Just because it pisses them off. But, <laughs> but yeah, that, you know, that's, uh, I really like doing that, though, the, with the figurines. Because mm. we did own figurines before we started the channel, but we owned, like, what, four of them? <laughs> or, yeah. They're literally, maybe, maybe like, like, six. Uh, they are to us what cats are to single old ladies at this point. Oh, they're not that bad. Not that bad. We had, yeah. If we had the movie, if we had a movie, if so we had one, money, two, it'd be worse. Three, f f uh, f I'm just counting the ones that we had before we started the channel. One, two, three, uh, four, hmm. five. Did you have that other Asuna before we started? No. Okay. <laughs> I bought I bought Asuna when I got out here. So, yeah, we had seven figurines when we first started, and two of them came in a pack with each other, which is why we had them in the first place, which is actually... Yay, Godzilla! Ryuko and Satsuki uh, came in a pack together. But all the other ones, we have bought since starting. <laughs> Can't actually get them to stay still. <laughs> but yeah, all, all the other ones we have bought since starting, and it is actually something that I like, you know, that... Like, we'll go to a convention, and we'll buy some figurines, and then we'll start swapping them out, which... Kind of keep the rotation we'll, for... We'll probably be on the lookout for uh, some some new figurines from this season. Or actually, from, from our first year. Yeah, from the series we watched. Actually, I just had an idea. What if we did, like, a waifu request line? No. Hmm. I don't know. That's that's really that's really hard to say. Well, it's be told is is more like one of my more ingest ideas. Hmm. <laughs> Though uh, that's actually how uh, at least how I like suggest a lot of my ideas. It starts off as a joke, but um, if it if it latches on or you know uh, it's uh, one of these two the right way, or, it could germinate yeah, usually an it's idea. you say something and then we either shoot it down right away. <laughs> or just like that or we'll <laughs> take it and change it to something that's actually viable actually otaku saga in general was started <laughs> exactly <laughs> like that pretty much yeah that was i mean we're we're sitting there not lying. oh man <laughs> well okay let's I, get let's let's get in the way back machine here <laughs> yeah otaku saga as a channel started like started actually with you um saying you know why isn't this why why don't we have a camera on <laughs> we should be catching this stuff yeah actually uh la so last year um so otaku saga is a channel so let uh last year it was summer 2015 zero had just moved out to california and we were sitting and watching gate i think yeah 
the first season of Gate. And Good times. we were like, we were watching it and we were doing exactly what we do during reactions, which, by the way, is exactly how we actually sit and watch stuff. Yeah, no, no, no we're that, not, that's, we're not that, acting. Yeah, that's not us acting a reaction or anything like no, that. No, we really sit around and watch anime and hoop and holler like a bunch I of think morons. I mentioned it, I think I mentioned it last year when, uh, when, uh, when we had gone to see uh, Rogue One, mm-hmm. or no, it's not not Rogue One. Um, uh, the Force, the Force Awak- Awakens. Yeah, the Force Awakens. We bought three extra seats so that nobody would have to sit next to us. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's because the theaters here are fancy, and you have to buy seating. Actually, well, not all of them. The, that, the theater that well, the we like we to go to, to it, that one was very nice. Basically, we had to go to that it one. has it's Star Wars. Yeah, it has. Um, Instead of regular seats, it has a bunch of like uh, couches with two seats all throughout the theater, and so you actually have to reserve the seat that you want. It's a very, very nice theater, and I love going there. But yeah, we actually reserved extra seats so that nobody would ha- would be forced to have to sit next to us because all throughout the movie we were like, Da-da-da-da. if you're a fan of Firefly, we all have places reserved in the special hell. Yes. We definitely talk during the theater, but there were um, a bunch of purse on top of it. But yeah, but yeah, but that's how we watch stuff normally. So we were sitting on we were sitting on our old couch, sweating our balls off because it was the middle of summer, oh my God. and you know we're just watching an episode, and the whole episode, you know, we're we're commenting on stuff, we make jokes, you know, we we have what I consider decent reactions during the episode. And then, you know, we're sitting there afterwards and it's just like, Wait why don't tech. we, why don't we f- have a camera on us? This is hilarious. And then I was like, um, okay, we'll pull out your phone. Let's just start recording. <laughs> that's and pretty that's much how it. that happened. Yeah. If you want to go even further back, uh, well, Otaku, Otaku Saga, Saga as a concept? As a concept, actually, pretty much started the same way. Uh, back in, oh my god, yeah, back in the early 2000s, and all of us were in high school still. Um, I, uh, I was, uh, you might be able to tell, but uh, back then I was deeply enthralled with Jackass. But equally as enthralled, um, sometimes I would say, like, even more enthralled uh, with anime. Uh, I mean... Uh, back then, then uh, you could say I am now. Yeah, I was uh, I was in pretty deep, but uh, I kind of wanted to uh, make something that combined uh, Jackass with one of my favorite anime, like classic anime, Otaku no Video, but kind of recreate that in real life with uh, with all of us. So, uh, sort of like I don't know, a vlog or like a sitcom or some sort of um, you know, some sort of uh, story put to video uh, in the form of an old high eight camcorder uh, that my mom owned and uh, that we subsequently broke. And I think all that stemmed from, like, we all know each other from school. I've known, I've known you since I was 10, since elementary school. And we've gone to the same school since then. And then in high school, we met we met DK and um, yeah, we had this nice little group of people who during during lunch we'd always get together around the same people and we'd have a good time and we're all always making jokes and we're, you know that was basically our life yeah and I, I like really wanted to put that into film or make a story out of it but maybe with a little more of a comedic license. Actually, another inf- that reminds me of another uh, influence of mine at the time, uh, a webcomic called Mega Tokyo, which kind of involves a, you know, a couple of guys who get like stuck in Japan. I wanted to kind of evolve into a story like that, which would accumulate with us going to Japan. Um, doing it now, obviously, it's a bit far off, but uh, you know, someday, sooner rather than later, I'd hope. But there's definitely like the first video, the first video we made was I believe it was it was summer. I want to say 
2005. Must have been, yeah, it must have been the, around there. Um, summer of my junior year, I was going into my senior year. Yeah, but the very first video... Or... It was before YouTube. It was before YouTube. It was. Yeah, YouTube launched, uh, yeah, summer of 2005, right? 2006, I think. Hmm. Um, but our, our very first video was a very cringy conversation on a dirt hill that we found on a construction site. And the idea was to have a conversation about anime and then one of us would just pull out a sword out of the hill. Do you, do you not remember this? I don't. I don't, I'm, I'm. And I'm not sorry that I don't. <laughs> and then the other guy would pull out, pull out his sword out of the hill and then we start fighting and one gets knocked down and stuff like that. It was a cool oh. idea. The um Define cool. Well <laughs> it would be cool been fun. for uh, for a nerdy uh, high schooler in the early two thousands cool. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> but it we didn't know a thing about acting. <laughs> and that that's that's for sure. Or yeah, filming. What? Yeah, I'm all. Let's see here. One of the early or script one, writing. Yeah, one of those early ones that I remember was a set of interviews. Um, I've kind of had. I mean, there was some like uh, back uh, that we filmed back at the room, uh, my room in the house I lived in at the time, and we had a friend that we'd uh, go over to, one that I basically lived uh, at during the summer. I just ran around with the camera, just trying to. Uh, have you know just have, have little interviews with uh, my friends as they were just doing what they do you know playing video games surfing the internet uh all this stuff i just remember um um one guy in particular um who shall re remain nameless uh man funniest response here i'm like oh he's just gonna like you know give his name age basic information well my name is i'm blank uh shit And that was pretty much it. That's all you could conjure up at the time. I could totally see him doing that. Yeah. Yeah. Well, being on camera, I think uh, it takes a little getting used to. It really does. Because, like, even even when we first started doing, um, doing like like the very first Otaku Saga talks that we that we ever recorded. And by then we were we had a, a fair amount of experience, a fair amount of camera time. Because we but first filmed it when we put the set here, right? Even, yeah, even then, we were... Like, everything we say would be like... Um, uh, so, uh, like... Um, and um, That still happens today, but far less often. It's yeah, it, it's something... I think it's something that you break out of as you get more experience. The 10,000 hours, as some people put it. Yeah, and yeah, we've had a lot of hours, so... Not quite 10,000. Not quite 10,000, but we'll get there. It fucking feels like it sometimes, but eventually. Well, unfortunately, all those uh, all those previous ideas that we had way back when with the Taku Saga are gone. Rizzo, you have my permission to talk about the strawberries. I'd really rather not. <laughs> There's just some stories that we don't want to divulge. And now it's stuck in the viewers' heads. My plan yeah, is complete. Now people are gonna ask about it. <laughs> maybe another time. Maybe, maybe if we do like, if we get popular enough to do like a panel or something at a convention. There we go. An yeah, another time when we give less of a shit. Internet. Yeah. But um, but yeah. So I guess finally getting back to where we were. Yeah, re reeling us back. Mm -hmm. So yeah, during that during that the the spring and the summer, we way overloaded ourselves and ended up getting behind, which we're still behind on some of those series. But you know, we discovered that uh, that's not sustainable, and we needed to do something else for, um, which is what we did during fall, where we picked out I think sixteen series, something like that. Yeah, we, we tried to. Uh shoot for around half of what we were doing yeah and i feel like we've 
As far as watching goes, we're pretty much we're, we pretty much stay caught up. Uh, editing's another story, but that's because of some some uh, you know real world stuff that that's been dogging us during the times that we can't film. Um, but as far as actually reacting, I think that that's a pretty good pace. We could do a few more if we wanted to, but I think that that's a good pace to keep. Because it, it allows us a, um, it, it allows us a buffer, a little bit. It, we have we have more time to play around with. We have uh, and um, we have uh, varying opinions uh, on this matter. The pace that we should uh, keep doing reactions with. Um, normally, you two are usually uh, are uh, in agreement, more or less, that if we could do more, we should do more. I'm usually of the opinion that. If we don't have to, we should dedicate the time to other things. Really? Because that's not how you. That's not how you certainly make it feel like. <laughs> yeah. Less is more. Anyway. Um, oh man. But yeah. So I, I guess that really brings us around to what. Yeah, what what we're looking at next year and what we're hoping to do next year. So I think our big goal for next season is to not only remain on pace with our reactions with when we're releasing them, which our goal for releasing them is to get them out the day that they air. So I'm like that's that's our biggest goal and one that we're really going to be striving to keep. But the other things that we want to do is we want to unveil a review show where we review the anime that we've watched. Yep. Which also, by the way, includes anime that we didn't react to, but we still watched. Uh, for instance, from this past season, I watched uh, uh, Poco's Udon World, which is not about Udon. <laughs> um, Long Riders. Uh, um, what was the other ones? I watched uh, Tawara of the Monday. Uh, now you're watching for a time, uh, Blazing Ping Pong Girls. Uh, yeah, I'm. I need to catch. I need to finish up that one, and then also I watched uh, Kiss Him Not Me, which is a very hilarious reverse harem series. Um, but. So that yeah, that's that's one of the shows that we definitely want to do. Um, I know that we that we'd like to do an industry news show. So collect, another, collecting news articles, basically. And I gotta add another uh, idea that started out as a joke, entirely. It started out that it started out as um, a funny about zero sports channel because I hate sports. Everyone like in your family talks about it all the damn time. Don't kill yourself. Don't it's all that they talk about, and it drives me bad shit. And I want to talk about something else. So, so naturally, since it makes you know, since it makes him angry, I made fun of it. <laughs> that kind of spun out to be like, huh? That's actually not a bad idea. I think that we Just could extrapolate it and. Uh, you know what? We should make Let's this take into a out thing. all the shit ideas from it. Yeah, it's a joke, but it's and a joke that we can play out. A joke's like a raw material. <laughs> it gets refined though, and you get something that could be legit you know, if we ever get around to it, which we plan on doing in the next year. We still have to figure out exactly the format that we're gonna bring that out as, but and also, I mean get caught up on our current backlog reactions so we can dedicate the time to it as well. Yeah. Hopefully um, in the summer, maybe? I don't know. I, I almost want to put I'm this as I'm hoping that we could do it in the spring, but we'll get to it when we can get Realistically, to it, really. summer is probably is probably a more, yeah, just a, it's a more realistic option overall. Mm -hmm. um, and then also OS Gaming. Uh, now, we have done Twitch a fair bit. But Thank you all. Um, what's what's the average uh, view count? Like our regulars here on 
Well, we, we typically get between like about 7 and 25 viewers at a time. I think the, like, the total uh, view count on the channel uh, so far for all the streams has been around 1,100, if I remember correctly. Mm -hmm. So thank you all, all 1,100 of you, and uh, do come back, because we plan on doing more with it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, we, we've been on Twitch for it, because that's the only thing that we can do right now, because we don't have gaming computers. Thank you, Xbox One. Yes, X, um, fortunately Twitch has this awesome app on the Xbox, and I assume they probably have it on the PlayStation as well, but basically you can open the app when you're playing a game and just press start start streaming, and mm -hmm. it'll stream automatically. So I really like, you know, I really like that, and it's an awesome tool for us. But kind of like uh, where we started, like recording off of cell phones and all that stuff, we want to evolve the quality of production for that too, mm -hmm. until eventually, you know, we become like a proper Twitch streaming channel or a proper gaming channel. Yeah. And hopefully, that improvement will happen quicker. I think than I don't know. Uh, our improvement as reactors. We gotta figure out. We gotta figure out OBS and other like. Gaming capture and well for that yeah it requires uh, the actual equipment. It's more equi yeah I guess at this point it's really more about the just getting the equipment yeah. together. Um, but yeah, just looking at it, we'll probably end up getting to the to the actual like let's plays and stuff. Probably more closer to spring, maybe summer, because uh, we also really need to move a house. Like we were expecting to move like last summer when our when our lease ran out because this apartment is crap however the housing market where we live is also crap it's also crap and just mm, very expensive expensive and largely inaccessible unless you like make close to six figures yeah so it is just what it is so so we're still looking at that and like we could probably afford some gaming equipment right now, but we all, we actually need to save money for our move. So yeah, and uh, I mean not only will the move um, put us in a better like housing situation uh, where we have more room to work and all that stuff, I think we'll put us in our personal lives in a better overall situation. Uh, possibly we're um, you know we could uh, improve our channel at a at a much faster rate than we've been able to this first year. Yep. So yeah, that's uh, that's pretty much what we expect for the future. What is? Uh, can you go back to the playlist hmm. playlist window that you had open? What is your top for the year? My favorite anime, anime that we've watched this year. You're gonna spring this on me right now. You knew it was coming. I did not know that it was coming. You knew it was coming. I did not know that it was coming. It's a year in review. You son of a bitch. You should have known. Nope, nope, nope. Stuff like that goes for the Otaku Saga Awards. Uh, no, I think I, I think I can. Uh, you ready to do it now? Okay, you you start this out since you're the one who sprung it. <laughs> yeah. Well. My favorites, my favorites this year, um, One Punch Man didn't get nearly as much as, uh, as much view time or, uh, screen time for us as possible, and that might be considered last year, mm. so I can't say that, but Kiznaiver, Kiznaiver was definitely one of them. Kiznaiver was very good. And Keijo is just... Ridiculous. 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 But if I give a top, if I give a top three, it would probably be Hide Against No Grimgar. Grimgar is very good. Mm -hmm. uh, Keijo. Okay. And um, probably Konosuba. Konosuba. If I had to pick a number one, definitely it's oh. Konosuba. Konosuba was just fantastic. Konosuba is amazing and absolutely. Oh man, you bastard. But I also <laughs> did, I, I like Kiznaiver. I thought it was very well done. I loved uh, Boku no Hero Academia. I enjoyed the hell out of Tanaka-kun wa Itsumo Kedaruge. 
I mean, this is a very hard pick. If you were asking me to like list ten that I loved, then I could probably do it. I asking liked, me to pick like one or two or three. I like the four. Uh, I like the OVAs we got for uh, Final Fantasy Fifteen. I know Brotherhood. Holy crap! Yeah. Uh, you know, I mean, that got that did its job. It got me hyped. I want to play the game. I haven't let him yet. You know, well, you're, you're still working <laughs> on it, so. But I mean, there are just so many good ones. Yeah. If, if I had if I had to pick one, it would probably be Konosuba. Konosuba. But I mean, that's still leaving out a lot of good <sighs> of gr- uh, of really good. fantastic anime. Because yeah. I mean, you get like uh, you know we mentioned Kizniver, um, you know on the on the slice of life side, Flying Witch was very good. Flying Witch, I uh, enjoyed a um, little series that we've yet to fully finish. Uh, and Happy. And Sancho Sanyo are great. Yeah. Um, uh, Boku no Hero Academia yeah. was really, really good, and I'm looking forward to when they do finally do more of that. Very much so, yes. Um, by the way, if nobody knew about it, um, the, the uh, I think it was the director and the producer from Boku no Hero Academia were talking about how they want to start, they want to do that one more like American shows, mm. where you go for a season, then you take a break, then you go for another, another season, season, then you take a break, then you go for another. So they are planning on doing more Yeah, for, for that. And more often? Yeah, and more often. So I'm definitely looking forward to that. Very much so. Um, but just. Kuro Makuro. Fantastic. And still salty about the lack of love it got from subgroups everywhere. Yeah. Uh, Tanaka Kun was a great series. Uh, Re Zero. Oh, Re Zero. Re Zero. Oh, man. Um, rock see. Bottom, the anime, but. Yeah, Rock so... Bottom, the anime, but it was very good. Oh, man. Yeah. Um, I'm all about doing Azuma, new game. Psychicuso no Sign On is pretty damn funny. Yeah. I just, like, there are so many that were good. Just so, so many. And then we got some of the request line titles, too. So we got to see, you know, we're getting started on the Monogatari Saga. And, uh... Which it looks like, you know, with our newest request line, it looks like that's... We'll probably be watching Nisei Monogatari next. Mmm. And I haven't decided yet, but since it's only four episodes, I might shoehorn in, shoe, shoehorn in the uh, Neko Monogatari, I think, Black, which is, uh, um, yeah, it was uh, aired as like a four four episode OVA over mm-hmm. over uh, like Christmas holidays. Well, as long as we can fit into a season, right? Well, I mean, so Nisei Monogatari was like twelve or thirteen episodes, I think. If we we're gonna do Nisei Monogatari, just to avoid uh, Neko Monogatari getting a vote because it is so short, mm-hmm. might as well just do it. Because hmm. I thought the reason would be more like, okay, we did Baki Monogatari, then we'll do Nisei Monogatari, and then maybe the Neko arcs together, so black and white. Yeah, oh. but they don't they don't sit next to each other in the in uh, the airing. Okay. Hmm. So okay. well, there you go. Then. It, and broadcast it's confusing. Order with, uh, fucking mystery writers. Anyway. But, uh, yeah, just... We've like, had to really... Like, it's been a really, really good year for anime, I think. And then there's the Chinese shit. <laughs> Blood of Wars and Hitori no Shida the Outcast suck so much dick, I think their animators breathe jizz instead of air. <laughs> well, it's gotten so bad, like with those ones. There was an upcoming anime that we were looking at. I think it's for spring or summer. Mm-hmm. That we we were looking at the title. We looked at the art. We read the synopsis. It sounded okay, Until... and then we noticed that it was based off a digital manhwa, and it was by Studio Emon. And we said, nope. nope, nope, the fuck right out of there. Yeah. To borrow your catchphrase. Fool us twice. <laughs> Shame on you. you. Fool us three times. Anyway. So, if, if you guys want us to do a digital manhwa, you guys better hype it up for us. Like, yeah, like real hype. Because um, right now, it's it's basically an instant nope for us. 
Well, so, uh, so far in our, requ our current request line voting, uh, at least of this uh, posting, uh, I, don't, I haven't seen any mention of it. No. <laughs> but before we get out of here, uh, I do want to say something really serious. Like, well, mildly serious. You're the resident keep it real guy here, so... <laughs> A lot, of, a lot of time. You're you're usually willing to share, uh, like, be real with the guys. Yeah. Um, when I started off, when I started off at Taku Saga, I had what fifteen, maybe thirty anime under my belt. I I could remember everything from all yeah. those anime. And, and that's over the course of like. Ten years, was a lifetime. 10, 10, 20 years. Yeah, yeah. those. That's all the anime that I've ever seen. I mean, the the last the 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 anime that really brought me back was this, and since this, I have watched four other shows. Uh, until we started. Until we started Saga. watching Otaku Saga. Otaku Saga has literally introduced me into so many new. Genres, concepts, art styles, music, all sorts of things that I didn't know existed before Otaku Saga. And I have to thank you guys for keeping me going. We like to think that uh, through the amount of and the variety of series that uh, we've watched or at least uh, started. Um, we like to think that we've done the same thing for you guys. Uh, maybe at least once somewhere along the line this year. And uh, ho I, I would like to hope that uh, we continue to do so. Mm. If only in a small way. Yeah, when uh, when I started Otaku Saga, I, w I watched a few more than, than Zero did. Shut up. A few more. <laughs> well, by, by the time... Uh, I think by the time uh, we started... Uh, like treating Otaku Saga as a serious uh, concept uh, when we were writing uh, a blog. Uh, I think um, between a couple of us, we had like a couple hundred anime series under our belts by then. I think I had a few more than that. Yeah, you, you definitely have more. I than mean, that, that's series. again talking about like, like say 200, 250 over the course of like 10 to 15 years. But say basically our 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 lives as anime fans. In the past year, we have watched eighty nine new series, and that, that those are the ones that we have playlists for. Yeah. So and I yeah there is actually more because I've watched some on the side. Um, there's some from the old channel that never got moved over. Yeah, and we're still uh, not even close to done uh, uploading our, our joint my anime list either. Oh yeah, and on the that. idea of my of the my anime list, um, there's been a lot of people in the re in the request line video going, "Oh, the my anime list said they already watched it." Sort of pick it and pick it anyway, because I can guarantee you I haven't watched it. <laughs> yeah, ch chances are very good that if you if you see it on the my anime list, he hasn't watched it, there. and more likely than not, he hasn't watched it either, because I am definitely the one who's watched the most anime. I've created a monster. You have. You did. It all started with you. <sighs> you did this. I bring this upon myself. <laughs> um, yeah. That's a story for another time. I think we should wrap things up, Rizzo. I think so as well. Oh my, look at the time. So yeah, that's uh, that has been 2016. Crazy ass year. Crazy ass year. Our first year on YouTube. And we're still here. Uh, look forward to a little special that we're going to be doing that will be uh, airing on the 4th. Yeah. We're going to be like the Dick Clark of anime. Nice. Oh, on the 4th. Yeah, January fourth. Oh. All right, never January fourth. I thought you were going to talk about like a little thing for New Year's because I know we were. Uh, oh, uh, I do want to do an update about that. Okay. Um, so on New Year's, we had talked about it during the uh, during the previous live stream that DK and I were going to do another live stream uh, on Twitch during New Year's. Unfortunately, 
the new work schedule came out and I had to swap a day with another person. Aww. So I will no longer be having uh, New Year's Eve off. So I won't be able to I won't be able to stream or I won't be able to be on the stream uh, by voice, but I will be I will be in chat. Um, oh man! But uh, that leaves DK to do the stream by himself. Uh, no pressure. You can do it. I believe in you. <laughs> oh, uh, <laughs> you said you're probably gonna play Fallout Four. I might as well at this point. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah. Screw it. Um, DK sucks at uh, nuclear wasteland survival. Start a campaign of Fallout Four on uh, New Year's Eve going into New Year's Day so look forward to that and uh, my uh, if you've seen uh, my efforts in Sparrow Racing League um, <laughs> uh, make sure mom's out of the room because there's going to be enough profanity to make you think that I'm an Irish sailor who's drunk and stubbed his toe after discovering that his wife cheated on him oh yeah and that, that one comment that I saw today mm. um, are you guys high or retarded um, yes neither I'm <laughs> <laughs> There's two kinds of people in the world. <laughs> the truthful one and the smart ass. Um usually usually we'll be up front if we are drinking. At at somehow we will either make it a joke, yep, or point it out. But uh none of it's drug induced. We don't condone that shit. No. I mean, well, I mean, technically marijuana's okay. In California now, Prop 63. But you oh won't see, uh, yeah. you won't see me do it no. at least. No, yeah. no. But because so. that costs money, yeah. and we'd rather spend it on equipment. <laughs> yeah, no shit. <laughs> but yeah, um, no. Honestly, though, um, yeah, I'm kind of the resident moron. But a lot of the time, this no, that's that's just me. I really am an idiot. I don't just play one on the other, and on the internet. And it's even more funny when I'm tired. But, uh, yeah. So, now, finally wrapping it up. Finally. This has been 2016, the first year of Otaku Saga. Certainly not the last. Despite, you haven't seen the last of us. Despite the universe's best efforts, we win, bitches. Despite the universe's best efforts. We win! <laughs> <laughs> no. No. Anyway, that's been 2016. We're looking forward to an awesome 2017. Better than this one. Better than this, Better year. Than this year. So, uh, yeah. Look forward to seeing you guys in the new year. Um, our next Otaku Saga Docs will come from next year. Yeah. So, until then, I'm Zero. I'm DK. And I'm Rizzo. See, See you, you next, next year. year.